Hello internet, good evening, how are you doing? Thank you so much for watching this video. Today we got some huge news from three huge bands collaborating as one, doing something that I haven't seen been done in quite some time to this scale. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So earlier today, Green Day goes on K-Rock, the Los Angeles rock radio station 106.7, I believe. Uh, I used to live in LA, so I think that's what it was. And I really enjoyed K-Rock when I lived there. They always have like the best lineups ever for their summer and winter uh, music concerts. So Green Day goes on K-Rock this morning and, 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 and debuts a brand new song called father of all dot 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 um which is coincidentally the name of a new record that they have coming out in february of 2020 now the song itself is pretty badass it's like um a little stripped down but it's straight up rock and roll it's not even like a punk rock song it's straight up a rock song and billy joe armstrong is doing to it as he explains it a like prince impersonation on this song he's got like this higher register vocal pretty much the entire time in the chorus he's saying i got paranoia baby and it's so hysterical cracking up under the pressure looking for a miracle ha uh -uh, come on honey lying in a bed of blood and money badass lyrics first and foremost but the delivery of the song it kind of reminds me of like something like jack white would do but like on steroids a little bit it's got like a lot of like his kind of like vocal tonality uh, kind of in it, but it's like it's fast. So I guess I guess the song is a little more punk rock than than I had led on earlier. But it is two and a half minutes exactly, two minutes and thirty one seconds, one second over two and a half of just like pure adrenaline. Like the song is fun as fuck to listen to. And like you, the minute, the second it's done, you just want to go back and hear it again. It's super badass. And he stays in that higher register pretty much the entire time. There's hand claps going on in the background. It's a really high adrenaline song. But that even that that wasn't even like the coolest part of the interview. So in the interview, they say, "Hey man, like, uh, you guys feel like playing a show tonight?" And they're like playing it off, like, "Yeah, maybe we should play a show." And they're like, "Well, where should we play? Should we play it somewhere big or somewhere small?" They're like, "Oh, let's do somewhere small." And they're like, "Well, where should we do it?" And uh, Trey, the drummer, goes, well, you know, um, how about the whiskey? Which, side fact, um, a band that I was in played the whiskey. So that's my five minutes of fame right there. And so they're like, yeah, that sounds cool. But should it just be us or should there be other bands too? And then they go on to announce that not only is Green Day playing at the freaking whiskey, which in itself is enough, Fallout Boy is joining them. And Weezer is joining them. So legit, One Night has Weezer opening, Fall Out Boy in the middle, and Green Day capitalizing it in a venue that holds, I'd have to guesstimate, no more than a few hundred people tops. The whiskey is small. And so people got to see three badass set lists. I looked over the set lists of all of Weezer, Fall Out Boy and, and, and Green Day. They were, they were basically bonafide greatest hits set lists. But that even wasn't even the coolest part. Then they announced they're doing a tour together. Those three bands, Green Day, Fall Out Boy and Weezer called the Hella Mega Tour, California representing. The actually northern california representing the hella mega tour um, which will be playing stadiums across the country and europe not arenas stadiums these three bands are going to be playing freaking stadiums like dodger stadium oracle park here in oakland city field in new york a whole bunch of places and finally as a little cherry on top not only did green day release new music that day but simultaneously, Fall Out Boy put out a song and Weezer put out a song. This same Weezer who just put out the Black Album not too long ago, uh, unceremoniously, I don't think many people are a fan of the Black Album. Um, but uh, those three bands individually all came out with songs today. So what I wanted to do first off was give my reaction on this tour. Uh, first and foremost, this tour sounds freaking amazing. Uh, I've seen all three bands. Um, separately they're all phenomenal lives actually all three of them are great bands live I love this lineup so much I love it perfect combination 
for these three bands to be playing. And I hope to God that all of them get at least an hour. At, well, Green Day, of course, I'm, I'm assuming they're headlining. Their name is at the top of the bill of this poster here. This poster is badass, by the way. There's a unicorn spitting out a rainbow-colored uh, flame playing a guitar with motorcycles flying in the air. I mean, it just looks bad ass. Oh, there's a motorcycle because Harley Davidson apparently is sponsoring this tour. So there you go. Um, but I really do hope that each band gets at least an hour to perform. Uh, seeing Weezer and only seeing them perform for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I think would be criminal. Um, so with that being said, I wanted to talk about the songs. But this song sounds fun. Like, And I, and I cannot emphasize that enough. It sounds super super fun going to weezer i really like this weezer song the weezer song is called the end of the game and coincidentally weezer announces that they're coming out with a new record as if they didn't just release two in 2019 alone and we're not even done with 2019 and they're already announcing a new record however um the caveat is that the new record is not coming out at least it is planned right now for May of 2020, and that record is being called Van Weezer, basically hinting that this record is gonna have an influence of Van Halen. And you can totally hear it in the intro of this song. You can totally hear it with the way that the guitars are being played with like a little little tap uh, guitar soloing that's going on in the beginning. I really like this song. This is probably my favorite Weezer song that I've heard since White Album, better than anything on Pacific Daydream, better than anything uh, than Black Album, in my opinion, although Black Album did have uh, one or two songs that I, I enjoyed. And actually, I know p people crap on Pacific Daydream. Uh, I actually didn't mind Pacific Daydream at all. I don't think it's their worst record. I know a lot of people do. Um, I think that lovely honor goes to other records of theirs, and maybe one day I'll do a Weezer ranking from worst to best. But um, no, not their worst record to me. But I like this song. I like the song a lot. I really like the bridge. Am I your go-to or am I on cool? With all these extremes that I go to, all I want is to be wanted by you. It's a mid-tempo straight up rocker. It does very much sound like something that would come from the Van Halen uh, era of rock music. Um, and it's fun. The melody can't find you. I'm incomplete without you. I guess we've reached the end of the game. Um, I like the song quite a bit. Co-written by Tim Pagnotta. Tim Pagnotta of, and I'm not sure if I'm saying his last name correctly, of Sugar Cult fame. And I just realized this doing my research for this video, Homeboy has co-written some hits. Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon, Blame It on My Youth by Blink-182, and now The End of the Game um, by Weezer. This dude has kept himself busy, and I've always wondered what happened to Sugar Cult, and I'm like, oh, that's what happened. He became a freaking hit songwriter good for him. I've always liked Sugar Cult's music, so it totally makes sense that he would go in that direction. All right, and finally, we talk about Fall Out Boy's Dear Future Self, parentheses, hands up. This is also a fun song. Mm, bop, bop, mm, bop, mm, bop, bop, mm, bop, mm. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. Anyways, reminds me of their track Uma Thurman, Just Faster. And again, it's got the guest vocal appearance by White Club Jean, which I haven't heard from in a while. So it's nice to hear him uh, on a track again, and he sounds quite good on this track. There's a line in here that I love. <laughs> yeah, this is the line right here. Dear future self, I hope it's going well. I'm drunk on cheap whiskey in an airport hotel. <laughs> Freaking love that line. Dear future self, I hope it's going well. I'm drunk on cheap whiskey in an airport hotel. Nonetheless, not any hotel, but an airport hotel. Freaking love it. Really good song. Um, super fun to listen to. They have a music video of this song with them enjoying ice cream. Fun, fun, fun track. And again, what a day to be alive, man. Like three amazing bands in Green Day, Fall Out Boy, and Weezer all release music simultaneously the same day with all promoting this hella mega tour that they're going to be on together playing stadium shows. Fall Out Boy also announced that they're coming out with another greatest hits record called Believers Never Die Volume 2 that this uh, Dear Future Self Hands Up song is going to be on with uh, with a bunch of other tracks that they have not uh, confirmed yet, but I'm assuming it's the um, stuff from Save Rock and Roll and On, American Psycho, Mania, 
all that kind of stuff. But yeah, what do you guys think, man? We're getting this badass tour coming up, Stadium Tour with Green Day, Fall Out Boy, and Weezer. We got three brand new songs, in my opinion. Weezer's song was the song that sounded closest to the band that released it. And what I mean is it sounded like a Weezer song. Green Day kind of went in this new direction. Actually, not kind of. Definitely went in this new direction, specifically vocally with Billy Joe Armstrong's voice. And what he's doing with this falsetto, again, channeling some Jack White stuff. I totally hear it. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. And then Fall Out Boy with this really fun summer tune, even though we're almost done with summer. But yeah, man, this tour doesn't happen until 2020. Green Day's record doesn't come out until February. Uh, Weezer's record doesn't come out until May. And then this Greatest Hits record is coming out uh, November of this year, apparently. But yeah, man, Christmas is coming early for rock and roll fans i freaking love it that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you like this video please go ahead and hit that like button uh, i would genuinely appreciate it and if you like this content go ahead and check out all my other videos and hit that subscribe button there are videos coming like almost daily now i don't know how i'm finding the time <laughs> to do this but like i said in my previous videos i've figured out a pattern um, and I love talking about this stuff. I love talking about rock music. I love talking about entertainment in general. So if you want to join this journey with me, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.